Hello. Hello, good hello. Evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I think I I think I'm fine. <laughs> Daisy, how are I'm you fine, feeling? Teacher, and you? I'm doing great. Very happy to be here with all of you. Very happy to see you and for sure to have you here in another day and in another class. Welcome, everybody. I hope you had a beautiful day today at work. So, welcome. Mr. Alejandro, we were missing you yesterday. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, start I couldn't, uh -huh. I couldn't connect or I couldn't, I couldn't be, you say. Yes, I couldn't connect. Okay, well, but you are here so, today. Excuse me? That, but you are, but you are here today and that's important. I thank you, Tisha. Thank you so much. Okay, so welcome to all the rest of you. Let me see. I cannot see Maritza. I cannot see Eric. I cannot see Ricardo. Mr. Ronald, I cannot see you. Very good. Now I can see your camera. Let's see. Uh, Eric, Ro Ronald, and Jessica, that is the listener today. Okay. Well, welcome to another session. Today we are going to be working about uh, the different models, right? I sent you a link with some information about the topic of the day. Who had the chance to open it? ¿Quién tuvo chance de ver el link que les envié con un poquito de descripción del tema? Ah, hey people, come on. Yo ahí dejando la vida buscando los temas a usted. So, okay. Me, me yeah. In my case, I've been watching videos about the topic. Okay, good, good, very good. In, okay. you, in YouTube. Okay, can you give me some examples of models? Let's see. Let's see if it's true. <laughs> okay, Daisy. Models, uh, Daisy is it, it might, may, could, um, It, it must it must mean uh -huh. good you have mean, good, good examples good it might, mean. it might mean right it might mean it could mean it may mean it must mean right in the degrees of certainty of the different models must is the top because it's like the one that it, you say like it's almost sure about it right it must be this you say because you are sure about that, right? But if you say it might mean, or it mm, it could mean this and that, so it's kind of unsure about the meaning of the different models, right? But that is what we are going to be talking about today, right? So I am going to start with this. We are going to talk about the different models for uh, different actions, right? And when we talk about models, we have different levels of possibility. In this case, when we have different levels of possibility, it means that, well, it can be sure, it can be that, or it might not be that, right? Something that is possible. And here we have the ones that are less than 50%, okay? Less than 50% in the possibility. We have might, may, maybe or perhaps right those are the ones that have this 50 percent of possibility right might may maybe or perhaps in the other one we have more than 50 percent which ones are in this category people which ones do you have in this category who Possibly. Possibly. Possibly and probably. Probably. probably, right? Probably. These are a little bit more than 50%. Very likely, 
or that there is evidence about this, it is a little bit on 95% because anything in this life is 100% true, right? Must and definitely. Yeah. Must and definitely. These are the closest that we have to something that is 100% real because there is always room for mistake. It says that there is no modal verb or adverb that means 100% total. Must is the one that is still closer to this one. Because in this case, when you say uh, it must be like that, but in some cases we have still a space for mistakes, okay? When you say it must be that, but it might be not, right? Cuando decimos, por ejemplo, no, es que esto tiene que ser. Pueda que no sea eso y tengamos algún espacio de equivocación. When you say, we never know, right? We are never sure about the different things. So, when we use them in examples, we have one question here. That is the question for the example. Where is John? Because we don't know and we are looking for him, right? Juan anda perdido y no sabemos dónde está. And it says like, Dennis, where is John? And you say, Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He may be at the library because that is something that it's very probable or that he always goes there and it's a possibility, right? He may be at the library or perhaps he is at the library. I don't really know. He might be watching TV or doing something else because you are guessing. Okay, you are guessing this. So you say, ah, oh, no, he might be at his house. We never know, right? And if I say, hey, people, give me one name of someone who is not here. Let me see. Ustedes que ya conocen a todos sus compañeros. Veamos un nombre que no esté aquí. We are going to invent a gossip right now. Give me one name. A classmate that is not here. Romario. <laughs> Joselito. <laughs> okay. Joselito. Where is Joselito? Anacleto. Anacleto. <laughs> Anacleto. Where is Anacleto, people? Where is it? Where is him? Uh huh? And you say, mm. might be at the liquor store. At the liquor store. <laughs> at the liquor store. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Where is Anacleto, people? Tell me. Tell me one, one possibility. He might be. He may be where? Visiting okay. his ex girlfriend. He might be sleeping. He might be in jail. <laughs> he might be. He might be in the in the regiment. <laughs> so he was a good person, right? But then they took him. <laughs> he might be sleeping, right? We yeah. never know. Uh huh. Where I being? Where is Anacleto? He might be cooking. He might be cooking. That's why he's not here in the class, right? He might, be buying he might be buying pupusas, right? Perhaps he's at the pupusas place. We don't really know, right? This is something that we are inventing. In El Salvador, we have different types of body language. And for example, if you do this to a person, and I am going to make the, the, the gesture to you, if you see a person and you say, what could it mean? What's up? <laughs> What's, uh -huh. up? What's up? What's up? What else can that mean? So you say, it probably means hello. It could mean, who are you? What's up, bro? What's up, man? Right? It probably means that. But if I do this in El Salvador, what does it mean? Uh -huh. It could it could mean you don't know. I don't know, right? But using a model, you say it definitely means that you don't know, because you are sure that that is the meaning. And if you are unsure, you say mm, it probably means that you don't know. It could mean that you don't know. Okay, keeping it in the educational level, 
<laughs> mantengamos lo educacional. Give me one gesture that we use in El Salvador that you know that it means something. Mantengamos lo educativo. <laughs> no van a hacer algún gesto para el lugar. Uh -huh. Give me one gesture that we do in our country that we know it means something. Uh -huh. Which one? Which one do you know? Teacher, when you are agree with something okay. and you put your finger like this. What does it mean? That you are agree. That you are agree or that you agree with the person. That you are agree. Yeah, no. you agree. Sorry, sorry. You agree. With the you person. agree with the person. What it means? Yes. Okay, right? Another gesture that we do. Aquí en El Salvador hacemos un montón de gestos y de movimientos que significan cosas. But give me examples. <laughs> Nadie says something, like something like this. <laughs> what is the meaning of that, Ana? Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> de depending on the movement of the finger, you have to yeah. worry or not. Because if it's your mother and says, Mm. You have it's to worry. Depending, gesture. Gesture. Depending, of people. Oh, face. <laughs> depending on the face, depending on the person, and depending on the moment, right? Yes. Because imagine your mother outside the school and you are coming with your backpack, right? Después de pelear con medio kinder, and your mother is outside and she's like, oh my God, you have to run. But if it is your, I don't know, your 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 wife or your husband, and he's like. But in, in some cases, the, the mother uh, move the 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 feet the the foot. Okay. Doing this. Yeah. yeah. They stamp the foot. The this foot, is the yeah. it, this gesture is like, called stamp the foot. Ah. <laughs> Or they stamp something on their hand. And it's like, ah, perate, when you get home and they are like, hmm. When she stamps a sandal <laughs> with, with her hand, with her hand. Yeah, to stamp the sandal, that will be the worst of them, right? If you see the sandal on your mother's hand, <laughs> run, escape. They are so pointy that they are going to hit. And if you run, it's worst. Right. Si huyes, es peor. <laughs> Probably it means you're dying. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Another gesture. Curiously, we point with our mouth in El Salvador. Where is Ana? <laughs> and they do this. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> and it's like, mm. <laughs> I don't know. if it's going to go like, and point at the thing. It's like, where is it? <laughs> and you know, over my, there. Over there. <laughs> you say, my son puts his finger on my mouth and he goes like <laughs> to see to see where he points. So with your eyes, you can well, you can also express things. If you see a person that you don't like, you are like. <laughs> or you use the famous expressions of I viene tu primo <laughs> and then the other person says yours <laughs> that's very curious because we use language and body language Alejandro yes when we are not when we are in agree with another guy or person we used to to do like a uh, Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, and we use the what the, with this guy, yeah? the very famous cheese. <laughs> <Chip Yes. laughs> no, or, or, or maybe maybe the means is the that what happened with this guy. Yeah? So, What's what happens with this guy, right? <laughs> yes. <what laughs> poor, <laughs> poor crazy. I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> poor yes. crazy. Oh, so, we have we have many different uh, ways to communicate. If you look at a person and you do this to the person, what does it mean? Wait. 
wait. Stop. 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 If you are ignoring the easy. person, if you are ignoring the person, you can use the same gesture, but you do this. Talk with my hand. Talk with my hand because I don't <laughs> want to talk to you, right? Talk to the hand because I am not going to talk to you. So it has different. Over my back. Talk with my back. It is like, and then you just turn around and you just put your hair like that. <laughs> it's, it's, yes. it's, we are very expressive. We are very expressive as Salvadorian. And it is curious that many different cultures have similar gestures. For example, I was talking with different friends from different countries and they have the, the thing with the hand or the, the sound that we do with the mouth that, when you say like, beh, chi, beh. <laughs> and then you, and when you do the sound with your mother, it's like, don't do that to your mothers because if you appreciate your mouth, don't do it with your mother. And she's going to be like, what did you say? Ooh, run, <laughs> run. <laughs> run and hide. Run and hide, yeah. <laughs> run and go to a different country, right? Where is John? <laughs> he could be at the library, you say. He probably is at the library, right? I think that there is a chance that he is at the library or not. I am not completely sure. I am not completely sure about it. And the ones that are totally sure or almost certain, where is John? He must be at the library because I saw him going to the library, right? I saw him going to the library. He must be there. So, and for example, if you uh, imagine that, I am here and all of a sudden I disappear. And you say, where's the teacher? We are in class. Where am I? Si yo desaparezco a media clase de repente, what happened? She must be what? She, mu she must be, must be, be here. Must be. <laughs> she must be where? She must be searching for information. She must, <laughs> she must be searching for information. She must. The internet signal might, might be interrupted. Okay, the internet signal might have been interrupted. Uh huh. But imagine if you saw my face and then all of a sudden boom, I disappear, and the camera is here, but yes. I am not. He must. He must be have angry. He. He must be she, she angry. I am a beautiful he. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Don't no worry. She might be a magician. <laughs> she might be a magician. She might be she hungry. Must exhaust, ex exhaust of us. <laughs> she must be exhausted of us. She might have yes. gone to the restroom, right? We never know. Yeah. She might have gone to the restroom right she must be at the restroom or she must be connecting the computer you say how because... do you say this my jar teacher <laughs> faint come on uh, she faint she might be faint she might have faint uh, might have faint 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 it's like this let me make it a little bit bigger for you to have it it's here faint right okay. faint thank you faint on the floor right yeah, please don't kill me. I just might have faint. Okay. So in this case, have some examples. Propio. He might be having dinner right now because I hear a con permiso. <laughs> okay, Alejandro, while you are served, don't worry. I have here some examples, and it says he is wrinkling his noise. It says. That must mean he is disgusted. He's disgusted. He's disgusted, right? He's disgusted. It is very common when you see a person and you are talking and you mention some something that it's not appropriate, and the person is like, He's not, he's not agreeing to teacher. He's, he's not agreeing with you. Imagine if you are talking with your girlfriend and you share a story and you say, yeah, and today at work it was very difficult. And then Anna was there with me. 
me what? <laughs> no, it's just the, the name I of a, my of a beauty for me. <laughs> the, the name of a girl, right? And you said like, you know, they took me to the hospital, but Anna was helping me. I mean, se, se, puede, haber, se puede haber quebrado en 80 pedazos, pero la novia no va a escuchar que se quebró en 80 pedazos. She's going to say, who's Anna? Anna yes. was there with you. <laughs> and she will be like, ah, okay, you are at the hospital. Bye. Ding. She must be disgusted. She must be right. angry about that, right? So the next example that we have here, the students, can you help me to read it? The students are saying anything. And it, it, could mean, mean, it could mean it could mean, mean they are confused or, or, or they, they, they are just thinking. They are just thinking, right? They are building, they are building up the sentence in their brain, right? It might mean that they are thinking, right? What about the next one? She is. It yeah. might be, it, it might, might be, be she's, she's confused, confused. She's confused or, or she, it may be she's, 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 she's bored. bored. She's or maybe just she's bored. just bored. bored. Or maybe bored. she has lies. <laughs> you know what lies are? No. No. <laughs> you never know. We never know in this world. It's a problem. It's a problem. The is scratching, teacher. It's scratching. But oh, what I'm okay. doing here, right? She's okay. scratching her head. Como rascar. Exactly like that. Yo <laughs> <laughs> it's scratching, right? Yeah. Imagine if you see your dog constantly scratching. What does it mean? It, lies. He has lies, right? That means that he has lies and that you have to take him to the veterinarian, right? That is something, uh, something very common. The models are always followed by a base verb, right? They are always followed by a base verb, okay? It might mean, right? It could mean they are confused, right? It must mean he is disgusted. We have more examples here. What about this one? He is tapping his foot and looking at his watch. What is the meaning of this? He's anxious. He's possibly anxious. He's possibly anxious, or it definitely means he is annoyed. Impatient. 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 Annoyed, Impatient. right? Impatient. Annoyed. I'm worried. I hate waiting for people. I hate that. For example, if you tell me we're going to meet at 3 p.m., I will be there at 2 30. Because at 3, you are going to arrive. But here in El Salvador, yes. people say, I am arriving in a second and they are in their house, right? I am on traffic, they say, right? I am very impatient, right? Mm -hmm. I am very impatient. Are you impatient? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. A lot. Yes. A lot. I hate the people. I <laughs> hate the people. Hey. <laughs> Oh, that, that means Always. you you, really? you hate me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anna. It's like, I hate everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, lo I love you, okay. but I hate the yes. rest. <laughs> no, other people that are not in this Zoom meeting, okay? Son otra gente, not the ones that are here. I, I like to be very uh, You yeah. know, we sometimes are impatient with, uh, with normal people, but what happens with people that you love? Are you impatient with them? It's the same. The same. Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't love them. You see? Mm -hmm. Aha, but at the beginning, when you are dating, cuando empiezan a salir, que son noviositos, que no sé qué, I can wait same. for you forever. It's the same. It's and the I same. like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> <You're running>. I, can't. <laughs> yeah, I can I can't. You can stand it. Okay. Yeah. So no love here. Impatient is impatient. Good. She is rolling her eyes. She's rolling. I hate that. <laughs> She's rolling her eyes. It's like. Mm -hmm. For example, when when the the girl is jealous. 
Exactly like that. That they rolled her eyes like. Mm. Mm, only a friend. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, sí. Mira, yes. mira. Po Pollo Campero te dice que te ama. <laughs> Juan Mecánico. Juan Mecánico. It definitely means she's irritated or that she is annoyed, right? Yeah. It is like, ay, mira, qué lindo te tratan los de claro. <laughs> So it means that she is annoyed. So in this case, we have Carla is twirling her hair. She's twirling her hair. Perhaps it means she is nervous, nervous or that she's bored. I do that when I am bored. I am like. Teacher. And huh? it's to, um, she's trying to remember. <laughs> she's trying to remember something. It's like mm. something. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it happens too, right? When you're trying to remember, you're like, eh, let me think, right? Or when you want to ignore a person, right? If you want to ignore a person, <laughs> yeah, I almost took all my hair. When you want to ignore someone, you're like, uh-huh, 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 yeah. Oh, hi, or who when, are you? Or when, or when people are, are inventing an excuse, an excuse. When they are inventing excuses, right? Yes. Or when they want to be sexy and they are like, <laughs> <laughs> and then the finger gets stuck and it's like, ah, ah. <laughs> that would be terrible. Okay. So it, that is the meaning of twirling, twirling, right? To do this twirling. action with your hair, twirling. It means that she's nervous or that she's bored. Okay. The next one with the adverbs, remember, maybe, perhaps, maybe, and perhaps, you they go at the beginning of the sentence. Maybe it means, right? Perhaps it means. These ones go at the beginning of the sentence, right? Possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. She possibly is doing this. He definitely is doing that. And in these ones, we have a little bit of practice for the topic after I have explained it. Some of them are negative, they say. You have to be careful. Where is Sergio? He has English class from eight to one, and it's 9.30 now. So he... He probably... He, he probably... He probably is... Probably. In English class. Okay. It definitely be English class. Okay. No. The he verb must. Is, he must. He, says, he has he English class be. from 8 to 1. Uh -huh. yes. He must he be. He must be. He is in English, he class. Is English class. Okay. Remember that the model, right? He must be. He must be. He must be. He must be. In English class. In English class. In the class. And you can use other type of uh, cert uh, certainty. We have he definitely is in English class because he has class from 8 to 1 p.m. He must be or he definitely is in English class. You have the two options there. How do you think your boyfriend will react when you break up with him? I don't know. He, I'm not sure. He's like, you are going to break up with him. He might Maybe be happy. Cry. Could cry. He could cry. He could cry. Right? He he could cry, cry. But I'm not sure. Right? He will, or he could probably cry. He could probably cry, but I am not sure. And I don't care because I'm going to break up with him, right? For him. He could. You are so cold. <laughs> Probably, probably cry but cry. i'm not sure right yeah i mean you have to be you have to be cold i remember one one time a, a boy told me if we break up i am going to die i am going to kill myself and i said <laughs> do it that and one day I, I, I like, ah. and one day i saw him at the supermarket and i said hey where are you dead <laughs> And he said, like, you are so bad. And I said, like, nice to see you. 
So if A is bigger than B and B is bigger than C, then must be. A, it must be bigger. Must be. Okay. Bigger than C. Okay. A is bigger than B. B uh -huh. is bigger than C. Then A must be bigger uh, than C. No, no a, must be because a, it's, it's, we are sure. A is bigger than C. Yes, you told me a is bigger, is bigger, is bigger, bigger than B. So the, the B is, is bigger than C. Is finally. And for the reason A is bigger than B. <laughs> So it you say it, it, it is definitely, must be. It definitely <laughs> is, right? Or it must be bigger than C. Very good. Good job. Good job that you are using the logic as well. Ellen is not a generous person. Ellen, you money, but I don't think she will. It's a possibility that she could do it. Ellen probably. could probably lend you. Probably lend you money. But I don't think she will. She could probably do that, but she's not going to do it because she's very stingy. She's not a good person, right? And Teacher, I yes? have a question. Yep. Mm -hmm. May we use? just could and probably or they might be together always no no no. in this case i was using the example Two because options. we have the we have the option in this case she could probably do it that is a possibility it's like ella lo podría probablemente hacer but she's not going to you can also say she could do it she could lend you money but she's not going to do it ellen uh could uh, or will probably lend you money but i don't think she will Okay. Okay. Thank you. But in this case, teacher, to be more teacher, specific, yep. In this case, when we finish the sentence with "she will," is like a "she do it." I don't think she will. It's like no creo que ella lo haga. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of "she will." I don't think she will well, go. It's like she, she will. It's like a he is going to do it. Yeah. When you say "I don't think she will," it's like no creo que lo haga. Or if okay. you say, if you say, for example, uh, she will go, you are sure about it. She is going. But if you say, I don't think she will, it's like, no, crap. It's not okay, possible. Okay. That's a meaning. Anna has been in bed all day and she was out very late last night. She. Definitely have hung, hungover. <laughs> she <laughs> definitely oh, has. Yeah. No, no. What does meaning of hangover? Hangover is when hangover? you were drinking and drinking and drinking. Yes. To have a hangover. <laughs> La goma. Exactly like that, right? She Thanks. the movies. <laughs> she must have a hangover. She must have a hangover. Or she must be hangover. In any of the cases, it's okay. So Based on this one, I will go to the book here. And here we have a couple of... Body language. Okay, creo que alguien está peleando con un T-Rex. Okay, <laughs> we have body language here. Here, if the lady is in front of you and she's doing this, <laughs> leave me alone, right? Leave me alone. It means... Right, it she must, said, it must, she mean, must be angry. She must be angry, right? She must be angry and she doesn't want to talk to anybody. Hmm. That's finished, you say. Okay, we are over. That's finished. Right? I'm thinking, right? When you are like this, it's because you are thinking, right? It must be, it must mean that she's thinking. How do you say in the season? She is not sure. She is not sure. Not sure. She is not sure. And the last one that she's like, mm, I am bored, she says. I'm bored. Right? Okay, that's the meaning of that. Ah, Mr. Eric is the one with the three wrecks. I found you. <laughs> we have 
Well, we used a lot of gestures in our country, right? This is what we were talking about. I was asking you what other gestures we use to communicate and what do they mean? Okay. I have here a short conversation for us to practice. Let me move it a little bit here. And it starts here with Ron and Laura. Ron and Laura. No, yo sé Laura, okay? But Laura. Laura, you say. And it says, have you met Rag, the student from India? What does Laura say? No? No, I haven't. I haven't. I, haven't. No, I, haven't. I only have one, Laura. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> have you met Rag, the, new, the student from India? No, no, I, no haven't. I, haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. Right? Hay algo que, que me di cuenta, hay algo que me fijé. There is something I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe, Maybe, Maybe it's, it means he doesn't, doesn't understand, understand, you. understand you. No, I don't think so. Oh, oh, it can mean he doesn't agree with you. I agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you are saying. <laughs> oh, oh, so that's, oh, what, that's, so what, that's what it means. That's what it means. Yeah. I, ha agree. I have a friend from the other side of the world on which this one is no and this one is yes. <laughs> and it was so difficult to talk to her, right? Because she was like, uh, I was talking to her sometimes and she was like, and I said, maybe I am wrong. I used to say, and it's like, sí, Nati, sí. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was so complicated. It was so, so difficult to understand because it's different. It's a different culture, right? So in India, when you do this, it's because they agree with you. Hey, do you want to go to the movies today? <laughs> they don't say anything. <laughs> yes, no, what? <laughs> Are you sick? Are you busy? right? This is Maria, right? Let's practice again. Students, have you met Rag, the new student from India? No, I no, haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. You know, he seems really nice, but here's one thing I notice: He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe. 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 No, I don't think so. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you are saying. Oh, oh. So that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what it means. That's what right. it means, right? So in, in many different places, there are many things that are different from our culture. Do you know any cultural difference from any other country? Yeah, a culture shock. <laughs> uh, they, well, the culture shock is it's, it's horrible <laughs> yeah. because you need to understand every single movement. Yeah. Yes. For example, when when Japanese people uh, salute a teacher, say greet, hello. Greet. Greet. Okay. Uh -huh. They they go down his his hill. They from, bow from uh, go ahead. You know from, from hill. So we in Latin American say, hey, <laughs> to, to back. You know? <laughs> they, okay. they, they do this and we, we do this. And we do this. So this and you know, something person. curious about the bow is that, that they put their hands on the top of the chest, right? It cannot be okay. up here or down here. Si suben las manos arriba del pecho, es falta de respeto. Y si las bajan, a la altura okay. del estómago también es falta de respeto. So it has to be exactly on the chest. And they bow like you, like this, but they have to keep okay. eye contact. You cannot bow like this because okay. it's disrespectful. You have to keep eye contact with the person and you go like this. And you go down. So those are the things that you learn in the life. I was doing like, yay, que tal, como están todos. <laughs> it was totally incorrect. And they say, okay. they say, miss, it's not like that. You have to do it like this. And I was like, ah, sorry. 
Yeah, so it is pretty confusing, right? Another another gesture from a different culture that you know. ¿Qué otro gesto de otra cultura se conocen? For example, French people used to kiss in both cheeks when exactly. they when they greet greet greet. Yeah, they go mwah, mwah. and you are like. Y esas confianzas. <laughs> y esa besadera. They do it, right? Also, they do also, it. also in Argentina happens that. Yes, that they do. In Mexico, for example, not going that far. Uh, men kiss other men, in some cases in the mouth, when they are family oh, yes. members. And they are like, yeah, have you have you seen that? I saw that and I, I make that question with, uh, for example, uh, Vicente Fernandez and Alejandro Fernandez. And I was like, what? So, uh, <laughs> these people are Norteños. Yeah, <laughs> well, maybe. But they say that it's with the relationship of very, very close family members, right? It's not like todos los mexicanos andan besando. No, no, I am not saying that, okay? So, but it is very common with very, very close family members, like father to a son, it's it's kind of normal, right? Not like a big kiss, but it's something like, well, what a mother will do, like very close kiss. Um, yep. In Italy, they use their hand to emphasize, emphasize what they say. <laughs> exactly like that. They use a lot of hand gestures, right? To emphasize what they are saying. I don't you understanding what I am saying. <laughs> Good. So those are gestures that people use. And they mean something different than they might mean in our countries. So these are the different modal verbs that we were studying before. I wanted to, to clarify them a little bit in, in big, right? We have might, could, must, maybe, perhaps, and probably, right? These are with adverbs and these are models with uh, the normal form of the sentences. And here, we have some examples, right? What might the first one mean? What? That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy, right? Crazy. What about this one? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Very good. Come here. What about the next one? We have here the next one. Number Be quiet. Three. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Quiet. Right? Keep silence. Keep silence. Sip. You say sip. Sip is a much. <clears throat> or shut up. Shut up. Right. Shut up. It is very informal. Right. That's very informal, and you might use that one with your friends. When imagine that your friends are at, at your house, right? Or keep the secret. <laughs> then you say keep the secret, right? When you say like Denny, decir a tu mamá. And it's like, shut up. Keep silence. <laughs> ya mm. le dijiste donde anduviste. <laughs> Let's see. So that is the meaning of that. Shh. Keep silence. What about number four? Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace, Peace, love. And, love. Peace. Peace and love. And here in El Salvador, it's like, hey, how are you? It's a way to say hi. Hi, right? <clears throat> number five. Thanks. Be careful. Mm. Be careful. Yeah. See well. Be careful. Be careful. See well. I'm staying you. I just Be saw careful. you. Open okay. your eyes. Also, I'm when you pass an for you. a bad experience I'm and you and you, and you want to cry. Pay attention. Okay. Pay attention. Right. Keep an eye on that. It's like, hey, focus, focus, or I'm watching you. Hmm. I'm watching you. Be careful, right? Watch out. The meaning of this one is watch out. It's like, hey, fijate, right? Watch out. What about number six? We won. We won, we won. right? Won. We won. Number seven? Hi. Hello. Bye. Hello. 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 I can't hear, hear you. Can't hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> You're like, huh? What? what do you say? What did you say? Exactly like that. What did you say? I can't hear you. I you can't say? hear you, right? In, in El Salvador, number seven, it can be for everything, right? 
to stop the yeah. bus, to say hello, to say goodbye. Well, but hello is like this and goodbye is like this. <laughs> and uh, I am here, right? And you wave your hand. That is the meaning of this, wave, right? Wave, mover la mano, right? So that uh, is- Wave the, like hola. Yeah, it is exactly the same written form, wave. But you say, wave okay. your hand. You are not doing this, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay how okay, do you okay. say how do you say and i am going to stop sharing to ask you these questions let me see i am going to stop sharing because i want to see all the cameras here i have okay i have new messages good let me just move this one a little bit here and i will keep the other one right here how do you say people how do you say go away how do you say go away with a head with gestures uh, with gestures uh -huh. <laughs> go 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 me mandaran a freír espárragos con un gesto uh -huh. moving the hand maybe uh -huh. moving the hand ajá <laughs> uh -huh. Put the hands in turn off. With your finger, you used to point where where you want the other people have to go. The, where you want the other person to go. Mm -hmm. Move there. <laughs> Move there. Move there. Anna is Anna is it's very nice at the moment of, of using the body language. <laughs> <laughs> or or no, even maybe the most or even you can the use the, way the is, hands. Is just the... I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like shh, <laughs> like a chicken. <laughs> so we have, as you can see, we have many different ways to say it, right? With dogs, it's very, it's very common that gesture. Yeah, the gesture yeah. is like right, and you and you shoo the dog away, right? You shoo shoo it away. That is the meaning of that in English, right? Don't shoo me away, right? Shoo shoo shoo. Don't shoo me away. <laughs> How do you make the gesture for someone to pay attention? Pay attention. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> then it's with the ruler. <laughs> okay, if I am in the class, for example, when I have presential classes, I raise my hand. And everybody has to raise their hand. Okay, yo no les digo nada. Solo les explico al principio que cuando yo levante la mano, todos levantamos la mano. And I do that. If I am in the class, in the classroom, I do this and I raise my hand. And everybody, when they see me, they start raising their hand because it's like, hey, attention here. So that's my symbol of pay attention. But if you are talking, if you are talking and a kid is talking and you want the kid to pay attention, what do you do? Some people applaud. <laughs> Applause. Yes, maybe you clap. <laughs> you clap, right? Yeah. Oh, Erica, applause. Erica is from the old school. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the, the kid. <laughs> Pong attention, niño. <laughs> then they start crying. Uh. How do you say that's enough? It's enough. Yeah, suficiente. How do you say that in body language? Hasta la coronilla. That's enough, you say. Ya basta. That's enough. Good, very good. Let's see the other one. Let me see the next one. How do you express that you are angry? You, move you don't field? want to know people. Side Nadia. To side. Side to side. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you. Okay, you, you. I think it's. Well, I don't remember the the name, but it's like to frown your head. Which? No, it, I think it's frown, frown. It's like, mm, when you do this, oh. <laughs> Nadia oh. is from the old school as well. She was like, <laughs> she was going to fight. Okay, ready to fight. What about exactly the people? What about the next one? I'm hungry. How do you let me know that you are hungry? <laughs> <laughs> my love, I love bodies. It was like, 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tu compañero de trabajo nunca cuelga esa llamada. And you want to tell him or her that you are hungry. Touch my uh, stomach. <laughs> your stomach, right? You, you rub your stomach. It's like, yeah. mm. <laughs> I'm hungry, <laughs> right? Good, very good. Rub es como sobar. Rub, yes, to rub. Ah, okay. To rub your stomach, right? Rub. To rub. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And also, hey, when, teacher, when you, yes, please, can you write rub in the chat? Ah, for rub. sure, for sure. Please. Rub. Thank you. Y ahora todo va a tener sentido. Va por rub. A los cuantos años se dieron cuenta. Va por rub. Va. Bab. That gesture no, could me. mean that you are surprised. Bab or roof. <laughs> what is the meaning of bab? Bab is when you do it in, when you, when you like kind of put it in hot water and you just smell it. Bab or roof. Lo pueden inhalar, okay. lo pueden aplicar. Untar. <laughs> Bab like 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 it's the, like literal like that way. Exactly, to, like the little machines that you inspire the, like the, the little machines. That, exactly that you inspire the like this time to, to, to smoke. Exactly like that. that uh, but those are babes, right? But that, that's uh -huh, the, that's babe, the action. But, but is the, the action. Okay. The rub is untar. It's like head and shoulders. Para hombres o para mujeres. Head and shoulders. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Curiously. It's curious, right? I didn't know that. I didn't know that one, but I, I knew it when I was learning English, right? So, but that's another thing, right? That's another story. Now you know two new things. How do you express that something was very delicious? That you um. ate something and it was very delicious. Mm. You, you close your yeah. eyes first. Mm. And you rub your stomach again. <laughs> You make a gesture with your face. You make the gesture like mm, show a happy, yes, happy face. You show mm, maybe maybe mm. kiss the, the top of your finger. Exactly like that, right? You kiss yeah. the top of your finger. What about that something was totally horrible? That imagine that they gave you pacaya for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I love pacayas. Yeah, for Noemi, yeah, I know that you love pacayas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, or, or chufles, yeah. or ocres, uh, I don't know. Loroco. Lor <gasps> Loroco. I don't like loro. Really? What? Okay, I'm, I'm leaving now. <laughs> me voy desde luego. <laughs> maybe, maybe show, show the dog. Marisa, you have a seal. <laughs> <laughs> I love Lorocos there, baby. <laughs> you have zero. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> oh my God. And don't tell me that, that oh. you hate beans. Si alguien me dice que no le gustan los frijoles, no, I'm, I'm over. Oh, I like beans. If you don't like beans, you're, you're from Honduras. <laughs> You are not Salvadorian, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Or maybe Costa Rica. <laughs> maybe from Costa Rica, right? Very good. So <laughs> those, right. so those are the different things, right? And I had you expressing different emotions, right? Exactly like the picture that I am showing you. This is what I was checking yeah. on all the different cameras, like, or ah, oh, or what, right? Mm, what? Ah, oh, scare, right? So. I saw all the cameras of you exactly like that, right? When you are expressing different emotions. We are very communicative at the moment of speaking. Salvadorians are very communicative. That's why masks are so difficult for us. A todos nos costaba la mascarilla because we are very expressive. It's like, and with the mask on, right? You cannot, you couldn't express yourself. And for this one, I was uh, I was working with you on the different expressions that you might use when you talk about. So before I move on uh, the next, uh, well, before I, I call the attendance, we are going to be working on proverbs or sayings. So for tomorrow, my dear students, I want you to bring your favorite proverb or quote or saying for the class and you are going to explain to the class the meaning of that 
Okay. So for tomorrow, I'm going to write it on the chat because so in that way you remember this is a homework for tomorrow, right? For tomorrow, you will investigate. You will investigate a proverb. A proverb. A yes. And the meaning. Will be Chinese. <laughs> Any type of proverb, right? Investigate the proverb and its meaning. And here, for example, I am going to explain this one so you look, you have to look for different ones. A penny save is a penny earn. A penny, it's a it's a coin, right? Un centavo. Un centavo guardado es un centavo ganado. So, Teacher, it's like we have to translate the ones we know. For example, shrimp, shrimp that gets sleep <laughs> is dragged by the river. No, 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 no. Yeah, because, I don't know. <laughs> because in, in Spanish, we have many crazy proverbs, but you can investigate different proverbs in English. Right, oh, okay. investigate different proverbs in English or yeah, or already build up uh, proverbs from Spanish, right? Algunos que ya se dan como su equivalente en inglés. You can investigate that one, right? But don't invent, right? <laughs> Shrimp okay. that falls asleep is going to be taken by the river. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> A stitch in time saves nine, right? A stitch in time saves nine. In this case, it means that if you solve something on time, it is going to avoid this thing to get worse, okay? It's like what we say in Spanish, mejor que te duela ahorita a que te mate más adelante. So it's better to cut things on time. Don't burn your bridges behind you. Don't burn your bridges behind you. It's like, it means that you have to be sure that all your relationships are over in a good way, okay? Don't burn your bridges behind you. It means that you don't have to end up in bad terms with anybody. Every, every cloud has a silver lining, right? One person meat is another person's poison, right? Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Like no cuente la gallina antes de que pongan un huevo. So don't count your chickens before they hatch. So those are, it's like, don't talk about things that you don't have. No hable de cosas que aún no tienes. So that's the meaning of this. And you have to investigate one and try to get the meaning. Okay, try to explain the proverb to the class. So that is something that we are going to be working on tomorrow. Okay, I will call the attendance right now in these minutes that we are left. And uh, I really enjoyed this class. That was very meaningful and it was very nice. We were getting to know more body language. Okay, let me see. Ta -ta -ta. Let me open my attendance, people. And I will do it. Sorry that I didn't have it open. <clears throat> and here we go. You can remember one? Yes. Uh, don't make castle, don't make castle, don't make castle in the air. Don't okay, don't make castles in the air. Definitely. That means that you don't dream about things that you still don't have. That is a very good thing. I like that one. And Let's... what about and what about if you well, get a, you get an advice, get an other age? For example, what, what I didn't I didn't get the point. Can you explain it to me a little bit in deep? Who listen and advise uh, that person gets uh, an older age. Yeah, yeah. When you when you listen listen when young, I think it's the the, the proverb proper for that. So investigate that one. ¿Cuál es el proverbio para esa en inglés? Like el que oye consejo llega viejo. So you have to you have to look for that one. Investigate that one. Alba Colombina. Thank you, Alejandro José. Present teacher. Alicia Guadalupe. Present. Ana. Present teacher. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present. Blanca Marisol. Blanquita. Boris Martín. Yes, teacher. Brian Isaac. Denny Isaac. Present. Yes, yes. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Daisy Carolina. Daisy. 
Dina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Elba teacher, Carolina. They Present say, teacher. They see uh, how uh -huh. sign when your hand and okay, okay. draw. Oh, yeah, it's true. Sorry, sorry, Daisy. Sorry. Eric Ernesto. Present. Erika Maidel. Present. Francisco Alberto. Present, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Iris Regina. Is here, teacher. Jenny. Present, teacher. Jessica. Thank you. Thank you, Daisy. Jessica Janet. Jose Eraivin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Katia Graciela. Thank you. Maritza Isabel. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Present teacher. Noemi. Present teacher. Ricardo. Ricardo de Jesús. Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. And Vidal. Okay. Well, my dear class, remember to do the homework for tomorrow. It will be a great pleasure to see you again in another class. See you tomorrow, my dear students. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>